Hi guys, welcome back and welcome back to the vlog. Um, today I'm doing a bit of an upgrade to the uh, to the Creo, so always a good day when you're doing an upgrade. Uh, so I'm upgrading the chain ring and uh, replacing the chain as it's quite worn. I've purchased the Wolf Tooth Drop Stop Chain Ring and Chain Ring Bolts and I'll also be replacing the chain. Yeah, so if you suffer from a random chain drop like me, then this then will apparently solve our problems. Uh, the Wolf Tooth Chain Ring has a drop stop chain retaining tooth design. It looks very similar to others, but this design is alternating a wide and narrow tooth pattern. And apparently this prevents chain, a chain derailment. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. Yeah, I've had a lot of problems with the Praxis chain ring. Um, yeah, you just get random chain drops, whether you're just hitting the gravel trails or like me on a on a descent um where it's quite bumpy on a road descent and uh by the time i got to the bottom chains hanging off so it's not good it's not nice when it happens to you but this chain ring has been recommended to me by one of my subscribers so thank you very much i am going to be taking the chain off but i'll just show you what you can do um if you're not replacing the chain just undo the clutch so you've got a nice slack and just simply <laughs> he said just simply unhook the chain like that or if you're like me you're gonna be re removing the chain anyway you want to look for the chain link there it is you see that guys so I'm gonna bust that one open and that's how simple it is just to remove that always handy to have the tool as well and I'll take this chain off and save that so I can measure my other chain with this one in a minute. Let's get a 5mm key, Allen key, and let's remove this chain ring now. I have had this chain ring off a couple of times and I've put a um, thread lock on it. So it's a little bit difficult. Yeah, I really hope this uh, new chain ring works for me. That's that off now. There's the bolts. Very simple to take the chain ring off. Once I've got that off, I'll give it a nice little clean behind there. So this is the uh, this is the plastic one I've just taken off, and this is the uh, the wolf tooth uh, chain ring. And you can see the difference. If you can see the details there, look, guys. You got nothing, nothing that hold that chain on. You can really see the difference there, can't you? And the pattern difference. at the back I've gone for the grey nuts nuts and bolts I quite like that we'll have a look at that when it's finished but you can get all sorts of colours you come in I think they come in blue red silver coordinate with your bike's colours so that's good you can just see these little hooks here like where they got a, a wide and a thinner tooth I am just going to uh, use a bit of thread lock on these uh, on these nuts here because um there's none on there and i i don't want them coming off i've always used them as you can see here uh, on the uh, on the old bolts just a little dab on each of them so let's have a look at this uh chain ring on the bike oh that looks nice that looks very nice Right, let's get started in installing it. So we got a bolt which goes up the back. Four mil hex key. They look really nice mine, don't they? I do like that colour. I do like that colour. Right, I've got a torque wrench. There guys, I like that. Love the colours. Really nice, isn't it? I like that. Go on, bro. I'm hoping that this this works. <laughs> so stretch the old chain out. Let's get the new one out. So now they're lined up at the ends. Top one's the old chain, bottom one's the new chain. 
I've got to break it there. That's still got the link on. So if I break it there, so I've got to take out two links. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be using my uh, Topeak um, multi tool kit. This is a really good one. It's got all the tools that you'll ever need out on the road, uh, including the chain breaker. So you've got the chain breaker there, you've got a chain hook, so you can hook the ooh, so you can hook the chain up in a minute, as I'll show you in a minute. And obviously you've got the uh, take out the sides. Sorry, trying to show you it's not this side. These are tire levers on the side. Uh, tire levers and um, spoke tightener actually. So you can see the spoke tightener there. So if you go to the other side of this toe peak one, you've now got the uh the X key to go in the end there look and uh, then you can break the chain as I'll show you in a minute if so you put the chain in then it just hits the rivet there a lot see the rivet then you get this end here and you just and that's it it's through bit of force but it just pushed that pin out and do it all there you go let's get this back on the bike yeah so it's a really really handy tool this one uh yeah great little chain breaker pop that back in there yeah it's got everything on this one literally everything bits and bobs you can say spoke fast and everything this is the uh tool peak one so we've broken the chain nice now it's exactly the same length quick links always make sure the right ends is on the outside of the chain as well pull it through and this is that hanger from the multi-tool that i was showing you earlier um just stick that one just hook it on to that one, just pull that chain through there. Give yourself a couple of links. Just so it hangs like that. And then you've got room to uh, put your missing link in. I use this tool because I find it better then and all you do is put that in there and then just pull it like that just pull it out like that and it just snaps them into place so that's that all on give it a spin nice all right let's put the clutch back on and that is it guys it's my grey box through there and the wolf tooth chain ring there's my new chain on very nice yeah, I quite like that sort of uh, matches with the logo doesn't it that was your idea anyway and apparently that's going to solve all my problems I hope so because I've got a lot of gravel riding to do this year um, so I'm looking forward to that I've got faith in this one it's got great reviews and it's come recommended by subscribers so what more can I say yeah so the chain I use is the KMC uh, X11 EO extra light um, and the reason I went for KMC um, rather than like Shimano is a KMC on more of a universal chain so with it being two different components there KMC seems the obvious choice so I've got good reviews on this chain anyway so uh, and I have used it a number of times and on previous bikes so yeah it's a good chain yeah so hopefully uh to do what it's meant to do what it's designed to do and stop those annoying chain drops yes because i have been in the forest on this bike on the gravel trails and i've had to take a chain ring off in the forest holding all the nuts just so i can pull the chain out from down behind and in between the frame yeah you don't really want to scratch your frame up so uh you have to strip it all down so hopefully i won't get that problem again so this is the drop stop b110 bcd 46 tooth wolf tooth chain ring 
yeah that looks absolutely brilliant i'm well pleased with that so guys if you like me if you like watching that installation if you haven't already please subscribe or even like the video if it helped you in any way and as usual guys until next time make sure you get out there and ride and i'll see you on the next one bye for now bye bye bye